Hi guys, you all like to get on one of these. Nice race bike, Jexa. What's stopping you from moving to a moped to one of these? Forget about the galley of insurance, CBT, uh, getting a driving li riding license to ride one of these. Forget all of that. It's something I actually get asked quite a few times on personal messages. How do you change gear? What's the clutch about? Moving from a ped, you've got all the road sense, but when you get one of these, you've got a clutch and a gearbox. The difference in a car and a motorbike is the gearbox in the car is a stick and you can move one, two, three, four, five, six, how many other gears, you can move down again in any order. With a motorbike, it's a single mesh gearbox. So that means you have to go down one and then back up two, three, four, five, six. Racing bikes go the other way, but we're not gonna go down that road. Let's just explain about a bike. Clutching into first, you feel it click down. Get rid of your foot, and there's the gear lever, goes back underneath, ready to go up. You're ready to go, basically. You bring the revs up slightly and let the clutch go. Now, if you stayed in first gear, rev count to go higher, you're gonna get to 20, 30 mile an hour, whatever this bike, how big it is. But you're not gonna go no further. Then the bike sounds like it's screaming, it's telling you to change gear, please, it's telling you. So you knock up into second. Open the fall up again, and she's gonna go along a bit more in gears and in third, fourth, fifth. That's what the gear changing about. The bike will tell you. Same as going back down again. If you're in fifth or sixth gear and you're doing 50, 60 miles an hour and you start slowing down, if you stay in the same gear, when you go up and follow back up again, she'll feel like a snare, won't go nowhere. So clutching, knock it down the gear, fourth, third, whatever the gear needed for that speed. And it's a little bit difficult. Again, the bike tells you, and after riding for a very short time, you'll guess it. Also come into roundabouts or junctions or stop signs, wherever where you are. You need to change down gear ready for that. Now you can't be doing maximum speed on a one, two, five, let's say 70 miles an hour, and put the clutch in, knock it down into fourth gear, and let the clutch go. She'll go, ah, she'll scream and you can do an awful lot of damage. You put it in the third, the back wheel, or second, the back wheel could lock up, nasty. But also, you don't want to get to the junction, and then find you're still in fifth gear, you go to pull out on someone, and all of a sudden, you let go of the clutch, she'll stall. You need to be in first or second gear if you come to a stop first gear. It's always been very difficult, but a bike will tell you, okay? So you started off on, obviously, um, an automatic bike, twist and go. So you can have road sense, but the gears need to come in function. So I'll probably do another update one day where I'm riding along, explaining what gears I'm in and as I'm going along. But you all hear the um, um, um noises. That's just not someone revving the bike, that's changing gear. So you need to get the knack of that and the clutch biting point. So clutching, as I said, knock it in the gear and you slowly accelerate and let the clutch go. Don't just rev it or don't just let the clutch straight out. You have to slowly tell the clutch, feel a biting point it's called. The bike will start to move a little bit and then open up nicely. We've all seen the comedy films where someone gets on the bike for the first time, lets the clutch go, full throttle and they go hurtling down the road and crash. It happens. So don't do that. But it's getting used to it. And I said, a synchronous gearbox, it's one down. And you get used to putting your foot underneath, second, third, fourth, fifth, maybe sixth gear. And when you're slowing down, clutching, rev shut, fifth, fourth, third, you know? As I said, don't go to a junction in fifth and then you have to go one, two, three, four, you know, up and down the gears, because it, it just looks silly, not very professional, and you could cause an accident, you know? You're going to pull away. If you're in third and you stop and you go to pull away, she'll stall. And then it's the hassle of being in the way, pulling the clutch in, trying to get back in neutral, trying to start the bike, you know? So there's lots of issues that can go wrong, a bit scary. Watch another couple of videos. And so I'll do one of a vlogging, I think it's called now, isn't it? Where I'll, I'll ride along. I've, I've done a couple of videos now on my um, Tiger. It just seemed really boring. And I haven't got a mic, so what I might do is mic over it. But anyway, there's the basics of what it's about. Remember when you're on this sort of bike, left hand side, is your clutch for your hand and your gears for your foot and on the right hand side front brake and rear brake okay the greatest speed you're doing on these you snatch these front brakes and you will flip you know you just slide straight down so use your back brake as well as front brake a lot of modern bikes have got ABS systems to stop you from throwing yourself off the bike older bikes won't 125 tend not to have either so try and try and get hold of that basically so you know I show you now it's open 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 and you're going through the gears you know and that's how literally bikes work but the bike will tell you so don't be too scared about having a little run around a car park or a dead end road and just never 
full throttle. You know, some of them 2T Peugeot speed fights that I do and the old um, Yamaha Aeroxes, it is, it's full throttle, you have to give it. I've had people around before that have had 4T little 50s and 125s. And 4Ts are much more controllable, that's why you use them for learning at um, schools and stuff, to do your CBT. But when they come round, they might try one of my little two teas. I, I don't know, it's straight away, they pull a gang, and the bike's struggling, it's not what it's about. You could never do this on a big bike like this without coming up somewhere here or shooting off, you know, a million miles an hour. Guys, check out my other videos. There's the real basics, and I'll say I'll do another one. Like, subscribe, please, guys. Check out the other videos around here on these babies anyway. Right, thanks for watching.